My mum taught me the fundamentals about baking and encouraged me when I decided to make it my career. This week, as part of a collaboration with other great YouTube channels, we're going to celebrate mums everywhere. My contribution to this collaboration is a big and bold cupcake bouquet. So let's get baking. We're going to start out by making my master recipe for yellow cake. It works really well for cakes and for cupcakes. It's also the same base cake as we used for funfetti cupcakes. So check it out if you haven't already watched that recipe. So in a large bowl, we're going to measure out all our dry ingredients. Flour, light brown and white sugar. Baking powder, baking soda and salt. And then just stir all of your dry ingredients together. Now is a really good time to melt your butter so it's at room temperature when you go to add it into the rest of your cake. So do that now. In a separate jug, we're going to weigh out our wet ingredients. Your buttermilk, egg, and vanilla extract. And then whisk all these ingredients together. To mix the cake batter, add your wet into your dry. And then gently fold it all together. You don't want to over mix this lovely batter. Just as it's about to come together, we're going to add in our butter. And then fold your butter into your batter. And then just mix until your whole batter is wet and there's no dry flour left. Now that our batter is ready, let's start filling up our cupcake tins. So if you have them, use green cupcake wrappers. It's not a big deal, but just gives a more natural effect of a bouquet and it'll kind of blend into the background. And then for each cupcake, fill the wrapper a little less than three quarters of the way full. When I was growing up in Ireland, we didn't have things called cupcakes. We just had buns. So pretty much the exact same thing. It's one of the first things you learn to bake when you're a kid in Ireland. Now that our cupcakes are filled, we are one step closer to having the flowers for our cupcake bouquet. Bake your cupcakes at 350 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes or until golden brown. So let's check on our cupcakes. Our cupcakes are beautiful golden brown. They're nice and light and soft. We're gonna let them go totally cold and we're gonna start to build our cupcake bouquet. Can't wait. For your bouquet, you need a vase and a styrofoam ball. And just make sure that they sit in nice and neat on top of each other. I'm gonna put in the description my measurements and where I got these. So pierce two toothpicks into the top of the ball and secure the cupcakes into place. And what we're gonna do is build the whole way around. Get your cupcakes as close together as possible so you can see the styrofoam ball. Now we have our base layer, our one on top. We're gonna to start to do it all in the middle. And if you do see the styrofoam ball, it's okay, I've got another trick to hide it. So stay tuned for that. You can almost start to see it come together. So I know what you're thinking. How are we gonna make these cupcakes look like a bouquet of roses? We're gonna get a 1M Wilton nozzle. It's that simple. You do not have to be a great cake decorator. Believe me, I'm not. Just get the right instruments and that's all you need. To make beautiful flowers for your cupcake bouquet, you need a really good buttercream frosting recipe. I've made it in a previous video and I've put the link below along with the recipe. Now fill your piping bag with the buttercream frosting. So once your piping bag is full, I really recommend that you demonstrate on one cupcake, make a star in the center, and using constant pressure, frost in a circle until you've covered the cupcake. So let's start to pipe our roses. And don't worry if you make a mistake, you can just scoop off the icing and put it back into your bag. You can make your roses any color, maybe even your mom's favorite. We have all our cupcake roses done. They look so beautiful. Now for my next secret. We are gonna take some fresh leaves and a little bit of flowers you can get them outside in the garden or you can pick up a cheap bouquet of flowers and use them as filler. We are gonna dot them in between all of the cupcakes. Once you add them all over the bouquet, it really does start to look like fresh flowers. This is better than a real bouquet because you can eat this. This cupcake bouquet turned out fantastic. I really hope you guys try and make this at home. Happy Mother's Day to all the mammies out there, including my own. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to watch all the other great videos in the playlist as part of the collaboration. I'll see you back here again next Thursday for more Bigger Boulder Baking.